Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little dress for baby girls between six and nine months old. It's part of a new crochet set that I'm going to show you for baby girls between six and nine months old, which includes the matching headband, the matching diaper cover, the matching bonnet, and the matching baby shoes. This is the order that I'm going to upload all of these tutorials, so stay tuned. Now, this little set that I'm going to show you, like I said, is for baby girls between six and nine months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger. I'd say between three and 18 months, so be sure to check that out. Once I upload all of these tutorials, I will leave a link up here to where you can find all of these videos. Also, if you press the little lamb down here next to my channel name, it'll take you to where you can find all of my tutorials. Remember, my channel is bilingual. All of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Okay, so let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. It's called Super Soft Baby Double Knit James Seabret. If you're in the US, you can use any light number three yarn. I'll be using this light blue color and white. Now, to begin, I have 49 chains. This chain here is measuring approximately 28 centimeters, which is about 11 inches. The stitch multiple to the base chain is multiples of four plus one. Now, to begin on the third chain from the hook, one, two, three, I'm going to make a half double crochet. Half double crochet into the next chain, half double crochet into the next, and so on. For this first row, this is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to make one half double crochet on each one of the chains. At the end of this first row, I'm going to have 48 half double crochets, including the two chains at the end here. Continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of this first row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 48 half double crochets, including the two chains here. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two and turn. These two chains do not count as a stitch, so when you count your stitches, don't count the two chains here. These chains are here so that the edge here on this side and on the other side are nice and straight. So now, in this second row, what we're going to do is we're going to make three double crochets. One, two, three, and into the fourth, I'm going to make two. Let me show you, beginning on top of this first half double crochet, make a double crochet on top of the next double crochet and on top of the next double crochet. So that's three double crochets. Now into this next one, make two double crochets. Again, repeat the same thing. Make three double crochets. One, two, three, and into the next two double crochets. This is all you're going to do for this second row. At the end of this second row, we're going to have 59 double crochets. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have 59 double crochets. Here at the end, I finish with these four double crochets. My last double crochet, I did it here where I have the two chains. Now for the third row, we're going to chain two and turn. In this row, what we're going to do is we're going to make four double crochets. One, two, three, four, and into the next two double crochets. Remember, the two chains do not count as a stitch. So here, beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. On top of the next, a double crochet. That's two, three, four, and into the next two double crochets. One and two. Now again, repeat the same thing. Make four double crochets. One, two, three, four, and into the next two double crochets. This is all you're going to do for this third row. At the end of this third row, you're going to have 70 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of the third row. I have a total of 70 double crochets. Now for the fourth row, chain two and turn. Now in this row, what we're going to do is we're going to make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and into the next two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. That's one, two, 
three, four, five double crochets, and into the next two double crochets, one and two. This is how you're going to continue for this fourth row, you're going to make five double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and into the next two. And then again, repeat the same thing. At the end of this fourth row, you're going to have 81 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I have 81 double crochets. Now for the fifth row, chain two and turn. In this row, we're going to make six double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and into the next two double crochets. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet into the next, that's two, three, four, five, six, and into the next two double crochets. One and two. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this row. You're going to repeat the same thing. Make six double crochets and into the next two double crochets. At the end of this fifth row, you're going to have 92 double crochets. So continue like this and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I finished the fifth row. I have a total of 92 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, we're going to chain three and turn. Now in this row, we're going to make V-stitches. Each one of the V-stitch is going to consist of a double crochet, two chains, double crochet. So beginning here into the third double crochet, one, two, three, I'm going to make the first V-stitch. Double crochet, two chains, double crochet. Now skip one, two, and into the third, same thing, another V-stitch. Skip one, two, and into the third, again, another V-stitch. Don't forget to chain two, and then complete your V-stitch. This is how we're going to continue for this sixth row. I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this sixth row. Now I have a total of 30 V-stitches. To finish, we're going to go here to the end on top of the last double crochet, make a double crochet. Now for the seventh row, we're going to chain three and turn. In this row, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make V-stitches, but each one of these V-stitches in this row is going to consist of a double crochet, three chains, double crochet. So let me show you. Inside the first V-stitch, make the next V-stitch. Three chains, double crochet. Again, inside the next one, another V-stitch. Three chains, double crochet. Inside the next one, another V-stitch. Double crochet, three chains, double crochet. Continue like this to the end of this seventh row. I'm here at the end of the seventh row. I have 30 V-stitches. To finish, we're going to insert our hook here into the second chain and make a double crochet here at the end. Now for the eighth row, chain three and turn. Inside each one of the V-stitches in this row, we're going to make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Jump to the next one and do the same thing. Two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Continue like this to the end of this eighth row. I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this eighth row. Now to finish, we're going to make a double crochet here into this second chain. And this is how I finish the eighth row with a total of 30 of these fans. Now for the ninth row, chain one and turn on top of this first double crochet, make a single crochet, two chains. Inside this chain two space, make a single crochet, two chains, single crochet two chains between these two fans in the center right here, make a single crochet, two chains, and then again inside this chain two space, make a single crochet, two chains, single crochet, two chains, and then between the two fans, a single crochet. This is how you're going to continue for this ninth row. Continue and I'll meet you at the end. 
Okay, I finished this row here at the end. I did two chains and then finished by making a single crochet into the second chain here at the end. I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through this last loop. Now, for the next row, what we're going to do is we're going to use a slightly bigger hook. You don't have to, but I prefer to use a slightly bigger hook to do this next row. So I'm going to use this four millimeter crochet hook. So what I'm going to do is into this last single crochet that I did, I'm going to bring this loop in this color white like this to the front and I'm going to chain one. Now turn and into this single crochet that I did here at the end, make a single crochet again. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go in the middle between these two double crochets, just open this up like this and we have this V-stitch. So right here inside this V-stitch, you're going to make a double crochet like this. You're going to make a V-stitch here, which will consist of a double crochet, two chains, and then go back into this space and make another double crochet. So here's the first V-stitch. Now again, push the two double crochets here like this, and inside this V-stitch here, make another V-stitch double crochet, two chains, double crochet. Again, jump to the next fan, push the double crochets to make room here and go into the V-stitch and make a double crochet, two chains, double crochet. This is how we're going to continue for this row This and this is all we're going to do, these V-stitches. Continue like this to the end and I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this 10th row. I have a total of 30 V-stitches in this color white. Now to finish, we're going to go here on top of this last single crochet and make a single crochet. Now for the 11th row, we're going to chain one and turn into this same single crochet that I did, make a single crochet, chain two, and then we're going to insert our hook into this chain two space in blue and then through the chain two space of this V-stitch here. Make a single crochet, two chains, single crochet. Now we're doing the same thing we did here on, on row nine, which is the chain two, single crochet, chain two, but we're going through both, except in the middle here. We're not going to go through both. We're going to chain two, and then between the two V-stitches, make a single crochet, then chain two, now you're going to go through both colors like this. Single crochet, two chains, single crochet, two chains, and then single crochet between the two V-stitches in white, two chains, go through both colors here like this. Single crochet, two chains, single crochet. This is how you're going to continue for this row. That's what it looks like from the back, and this is the front. Continue and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I finished this last row. Now here I did two chains, then I did a single crochet here where I have the last single crochet. Cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop, and the yoke is done. That's what it looks like there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make single crochets here along the very edge before we join and then continue for the rest. So we're going to be using the same hook, the 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, the same one that we started this with. So we're going to go here. This is where we finished. So insert your hook right here on top of this single crochet right there. This is the last one that I did. And then with this blue yarn, Bring a loop through the front like this. Chain one. And then right here to the side of this single crochet right there, insert your hook and make a single crochet. Now single crochet into the next single crochet. Single crochet here on top of this. Yes, that's a single crochet too. So far I have three single crochets. Now make one here, that's four, and then we have this double crochet, make two there, that's five and six, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, that's seven, eight, 
and nine. I made two there. Then we have the two chains, that's 10, 11, 12, 13, and then we have the row of half double crochets, that's 14, and then the row of chains, that's 15 single crochets. I think that looks pretty good. The important thing here is that this here is nice and straight. I think that looks pretty good. So now chain one, turn, and go back down working single crochets for a total of two more rows. So finish this row here at the end, chain one, turn, and then come back up for the third row. I'll meet you at the end of the third row. Okay, I finished the third row here at the end. All I did was just cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last stitch. And this is what it looks like. Now we're going to do the same thing here on this side. So this is going to go like this. So this here is where I'm going to add my buttonhole. So I'm going to go here to the top, find your chain here. Let's see, that's the chain right there. Now grab a loop, bring it through the front, chain one, and into this same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now the next row is the half double crochet row, so make a single crochet there, and then two single crochets here, and then one, and so on. For this part, you're going to do the exact same thing we did here. For me, it was 15 single crochets, so I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'll meet you here once I have my 15 single crochets to show you how we're going to make our buttonholes in the next row. Okay, I finished making these 15 single crochets. Now I'm going to chain one and turn for the second row. I'm not going to make my buttonholes on this row. I'm going to make it on the third row actually. So here, just make your first single crochet and then work your way up making single crochets. You're going to have 15 single crochets or however many you had here. I had 15, it really doesn't matter if you have more or less. The important thing here is that this part here is nice and straight. So I'm almost done with the second row. Here's my last stitch. Now for the third row, chain one and turn. Now this is where I'm going to make my buttonhole. So here, on top of this first single crochet, make a single crochet, chain one, skip one single crochet, and into the next, make a single crochet. And here's the first buttonhole. Now the buttons that I'm going to use are very little, so this is enough for me. If you're going to use bigger buttons, make sure they fit through this little hole. Now we're going to continue and work our way down. Let's see how many I'm going to make. I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, actually nine. I'm gonna make nine. So that's nine single crochets. Chain one, skip one, and into the next make a single crochet. That's one, two, and three. So I'm only going to do two buttonholes. There's one and two. Now chain one, turn, make a single crochet, single crochet, and single crochet. And here where we did the chain, make a single crochet there, and then single crochet on each one of the single crochets until you come here to the end. I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row. Okay, I finished making this row and we have two buttonholes, one and two. Now we're going to go around the neckline. So here we're going to chain one, insert your hook into this last single crochet that you did, make a single crochet, single crochet into the next row, that's two into the next row, that's three into the next row, and that is four right there. Four single crochets. Now we have the chains. Now we have these stitches around the neckline. So into the first stitch right here, make a slip stitch, chain one, slip stitch, chain one, slip stitch, chain one, and so on. 
this is how I'm going to work the neckline. Now, if it's easier for you, you can do single crochets as well or even slip stitches. But the slip stitches itself without a chain may um, reduce the size of the neckline, so it might make it smaller. So that's why I'm adding a chain here. And I think it looks pretty nice. That's a nice finish there. So continue and I'll meet you right here at this other end. Here you're going to do three single crochets and then we're going to make one more row and work our way down. So I'll meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at this other end. I did these last three single crochets. Now we're going to work our way down with single crochets. So chain one and into this last single crochet like this. Insert your hook and make your first single crochet. Then continue and work one single crochet for each one of these single crochets that we did here. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this fourth row, so now what we're going to do is we're going to divide the sleeves. The yoke is done and that's what it looks like from the front. Now, to divide the sleeves, this is what we're going to do. So here, we have three V-stitches, one, two, three, and then put a stitch marker right in the middle of these two. Then for the sleeve, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, put a stitch marker. I have my stitch markers going through both rows, blue and the white. And then for the front side, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then again, right in the center of these two, I have a stitch marker. And then again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the sleeve and then three for the front panel. Now, what we're going to do in this row is I'm going to show you before I start. In uh, When we did the row in blue, the last row that we did, we were doing these chain two. So right in there, into this space right here, we're going to work three double crochets into each one of the chain two spaces, like this. So let me show you here. We're going to join this like this. This is where we have the buttonhole, so it needs to go on top. So now insert your hook into this first row right here, and then grab this loop, bring it through the front. Now chain two, and into this same space here, and into the first row here in the back, or actually this is the last row. Insert your hook back again, and make a double crochet. Now go into the next row here, and into the next row back here, and make two double crochets into this same stitch here. Again into the next row, this one here, and in the back, two double crochets. So, so far I have done five double crochets, two, four, and then five. The two chains don't count. So now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this single crochet here in this color white. You can see it right there. I am going to go in there and I'm going to make three double crochets. One, two, three. Now here we have the row in blue and we have a chain two space, chain two space, chain two space. This is the last row that we did in the color blue. So into this first chain two space right there, insert your hook and make three double crochets. So into each one of the chain two spaces, we're going to now make three double crochets. And that's what it looks like here at the beginning. Now, Find the next chain two space. We have two here. Into the first, make three double crochets. Into the next, three double crochets. Then we have the next two right here. Make three double crochets here too. Okay, and then we have the last chain two space. And then we have the stitch marker. So into this one um, chain two space, you're going to make three double crochets. So let me count how many I have here. We have 
the two chains and then one double crochet. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six double crochets for this side here. Now we're going to divide the sleeves, chain six, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Now we're going to skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight V stitches, and into this chain two space here. This is the second one here in the back. See, we have one before the stitch marker and two. So into the second chain two space make three double crochets one two three jump to the next chain two space fold the white row like this so that you can see the chain two spaces more easily so into each one of the spaces make three double crochets like this now there should be 16 here for the front side so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen chain two spaces so you're going to do three double crochets into each one continue and i'll meet you here to show you how we're going to divide the other sleeve okay i have 48 double crochets for this front side we have 16 chain two spaces so 16 times three that's 48. now to divide the other sleeve we're going to chain six we're going to skip one two three four five six seven eight and into this second chain two space see this is the center so into this next one make three double crochets now here you're just going to work three double crochets for each one of these chain two spaces and we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll meet you here at the end of this first row to show you how we're going to finish this first row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. Up to here I have 18 double crochets. Now here at the end we're going to do the same thing we did here at the beginning into this single crochet we did three double crochets so i'm going to find this single crochet here and into that same stitch i'm going to make three double crochets one two three now i have 21 double crochets i need to make one more i'm going to make it right here into this same space where i did the chain two and the first double crochet so just insert your hook there and make one last double crochet so now if you count each one of the double crochets not the two chains you should have 96 double crochets we have 22 double crochets for this side we have 26 for this side we have 48 for the front side, so that makes a total of 96 double crochets for this first row. Now, to finish this first row, go on top of the first double crochet right here and join with a slip stitch. Now, for the second row, chain two and into this same stitch where I did the slip stitch, make a double crochet and then continue and make one double crochet for each one of these double crochets from the previous row just like this now when you come here under the sleeve where we have the six chains you're just going to make one double crochet for each one of the chains and then continue for the front side and finish here at the end i'll meet you here at the end of the second row I'm here at the end of this second row. I have 108 double crochets. Remember that on each side we added six extra stitches. So that's a total of 108 double crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet right here and join with a slip stitch. Now for the third row, what we're going to do is we're going to make two slip stitches. This is so that every row from here on is, um, ends right here, right about the center. So right about here. So we're going to do these two slip stitches. Now you're going to chain four and into this same stitch here, make a double crochet. Skip 
one, two, and into the third double crochet, this one here, make a double crochet, chain one, actually chain two, double crochet. We're going to chain two instead. Again, skip one, two, and into the third, another V-stitch. Double crochet, two chains, double crochet. Again, skip one, two, and into the third, another V-stitch. This is how we're going to continue for this third row. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have a total of 36 V-stitches. Now to finish, we're going to go here to the side where we have the four chains and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the third row. Now, the stitch that I'm going to use consists of two row repeats. So the first row is where we do the V-stitches and then the next row is this one that I'm going to show you. You're going to chain one and then you're going to work a front post double crochet right here. These are the chains. And then inside each one of the chain two spaces, you're going to make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. And then finish with a front post double crochet. Again, we have the next V-stitch into the first double crochet, work a front post double crochet. Inside the chain two space, make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. I'm going to call these fans from here on. That way I don't have to repeat and say two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. You'll know that we're going to make these fans. And then finish with a front post double crochet. Again, front post double crochet, a fan inside the chain two space, And then finish with a front post double crochet. This is how we're going to continue for this fourth row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. Now to finish we're going to go here to the side where we have the chain right there and join with a slip stitch. Now for the fifth row we're going to make the row of v-stitches. So here we need to do three slip stitches. One, two, three. So beginning on top of the first double crochet make a slip stitch into the next a slip stitch and inside the chain two space a slip stitch now here you're going to chain four and then a double crochet jump to the next chain two space of the next fan and do a v-stitch double crochet two chains double crochet jump to the next and do the same thing another v-stitch this is all we're going to do for this fifth row which is the second row to our pattern repeat. Continue like this and I'll reach at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. This is where we did V stitches. This is the second row to our pattern. Now to finish, you're going to go here where we have these four chains and join with a slip stitch. Now for the sixth row, this is where we're going to do this row of fans. So beginning here, you're going to chain one and then work a front post double crochet here where we have these chains. Then inside the, this chain space, you're going to do two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. And then a front post double crochet. Jump to the next V-stitch, work a front post double crochet, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. and then a front post double crochet. This is all you're going to do for this sixth row. Continue and I'll meet you here at the end to show you once again the row of V-stitches. Okay, I'm here at the end of this sixth row. This is the second row to our pattern. Now to finish, you're going to go here to the side where we have this chain and join with a slip stitch. And that's how I finished this row. So now from here on, you're going to repeat these two rows, the row of fans and the row of V-stitches. So in the next row, we need to do the row of V-stitches. So to start you off here, you're going to do three slip stitches. One, two, three, right here. One, two, three, chain four, double crochet into the same space, jump to the next, 
chain two space of the next fan and do a V stitch. Double crochet, two chains, double crochet, jump to the next one and do the same thing. Now, this is all we're going to do from here on. We're going to repeat these two rows, the row of V stitches and the row of fans. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do from here on, but continue watching and I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I did a total of 14 rows up to here. So from here to here, there's 14 rows and it's measuring. Let me measure it for you. From the center here, the neckline, it's measuring about 12 inches, which is about 30.5 centimeters. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, one or two more rows using this white color. Now, if you want to make it longer, like I said, you can. Up to here, I have exactly 100 grams of yarn. So if you have one skein of yarn that it's 100 grams and a little bit of another color, then you can certainly make this little dress here like this. Okay, so here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here where I did my slip stitch to finish my last row, row 14, and I'm going to grab this loop in this color white, bring it through the front, chain one, and then into this same space here, make a single crochet. Actually, this is, I'm gonna do it right here, right in the center. So right there. Grab this loop, bring it through the front, chain one, and into this same space, make a single crochet. Now chain two, and you're going to go into the chain two space of this fan, make a single crochet, two chains, single crochet again, two chains, and right in the center between these two right here, insert your hook and make a single crochet, two chains, single crochet, inside the chain two space, two chains, single crochet, and then two chains again, and in the center between these two, another single crochet. This is how we're going to continue for this row. I'll meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of this row. Now to finish, we're going to go here on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the second row, we're going to do the same thing. So chain one and into this same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now chain two, go into this chain two space and make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet, then two chains, and right in the middle, we have the, this single crochet. So insert your hook through this stitch here. You see like a little V, so insert your hook there and make a single crochet two chains, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, two chains, and then again in the middle we have the single crochet. Insert your hook through the center of this single crochet and make a single crochet, two chains, and then repeat the same thing. Here we're going to do three chains instead of two. So continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row. And that's what it looks like. I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I finished making this last row here at the end. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and then pass my yarn through that last loop and then I just hid my ends here on the inside. So the bottom part of the baby dress, it's done and that's what it looks like. Now, it's all done. I went ahead and added a little ribbon here through this row of double crochets. And I also went ahead and um, sewed in these little flowers. These little flowers, they just come pre-made. I purchased them from Joann's. You can do the same thing too. So our little dress is done. This little dress is for baby girls between six and nine months old. Let me give you the finished measurements. So here, the, the waist. This is about, it's about nine inches right across, which is about 23 centimeters from the center of the neckline down to the last row. It's about 12.25 inches, which is about 31 centimeters. So based on these measurements, it's for baby girls between six and nine months old. So the little dress is done. Now stay tuned. I went ahead and did the matching diaper cover or little bloomers. Look at these, these are so adorable. And I went ahead and did the matching baby bonnet for those of you who prefer um, little hats. 
this is the one that I did and same thing I put the little flowers there I also went ahead and did the matching baby booties these here and I did a little headband here which I'm also going to show you how to make okay so i hope you like this baby set which i have worked so hard to make for you all i know many of you have asked for baby dresses so stay tuned i will be uploading lots of other um, baby sets like this for baby girls um, i have a little niece coming this summer and all of this is going to be for her i'm so excited after many years of just boys in the family we are getting finally a baby girl i'm sure she will love all of this that i'm making her with so much love Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.